Okay, I know this is a, <laughs> an unusual way to do an intro, but today we're gonna do a pull workout and um, I did about 100 pull-ups, weighted vest pull-ups yesterday. My forearms are not happy, so I'm just rolling them out uh, before the session. Before that, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. <laughs> I've already complained now, we haven't even started the workout. So, like I said, we're gonna do a pull workout. First, we're gonna start with a warm-up and then we're going to do a lact activation exercise we're going to do two lact activation exercise and um, some uh, mobility drills as always in my videos and we're going to do the workouts there isn't a finisher to this time so i know all the other videos there's a finisher we're not going to do that this time so uh, you get a break from those so hopefully with all the push ball workouts now you have a complete workout that you can use and add into your training um, so yeah, if you have what I'm using a, a peanut, so you can either use this or a lacrosse ball. And I usually like to roll out my forearms and also triceps. So if you have a bit of tendonitis, roll out your triceps. So a lot of people just roll out their forearms if you do, but they forget your triceps is also linked to your forearm. So roll that out as well. And another tip, put it on your bicep and roll that as well, because it's all connected. So yeah, we're gonna go straight into the warm up. I'm gonna stop waffling on. Don't forget if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'm not editing ed editing this time, so I'm not sure where you're gonna put the subscribe there. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're in Gymshark at uh, Lifting Club today as well. So even better, let's go. Okay, so uh, with the lact activation, I like to do these before I do I train back, just to activate the lats. I find a lot of times when people train, they do not know how to engage their lats. And these two movements are perfect for that. First one we have scapular pull-ups. Um, a lot of people find this really awkward. So I always say, imagine you're shrugging upwards. So when you do a shrug, this is what you do. Do that, but the opposite, when you're on the bar. Okay, so when you get up, shrug up, down, up, hold it for about a second. That would really, really fire up, uh, fire up your lats. Um, and then the second one, which is a high row, kneeling row, but again, it's retracting your scapula and then pulling down. I always find that with these, what you want to do is again, shrug down, and row. Okay, shrug first, pull it down. If you do those two things together, when you go on to do your back workouts, these will be fully engaged so that you will be able to actually train your back properly because I think that's the number one thing a lot of people have issues with. And for me, I love training back. As you can tell, it's probably one of my strongest feature. So yeah, that's the, that's the two things I like to do. Lact activation before I go into the workout. Face balls, if you notice, I like to retract shoulder blades. Remember this cap pull ups, same principle retract, make sure that my shoulder blade is activated. Okay, pull back, squeeze, and come back. Retract, pull, squeeze, come back. 
another way to think of it is when you're pulling, think, imagine doing a double bicep. Now, I don't know how to do a double bicep, but just pretend you know how to do a double bicep. So we come in with the rope, come in, squeeze, slowly down. Again, nice and slow on the eccentric as well. With uh, the pullovers, I like to use two ropes. Again, purely because I'm quite tall and my legs are quite big. So when I row, when I pull, I like to make sure I come all, I fully extend. So, stand back, lean forward. I like to come in, squeeze as hard as I can. Keep squeezing your lats, keep squeezing. Do not relax them. And pull and squeeze, focus on your lats, not your hands on the rope. Keep squeezing, pull, squeeze. Okay, hold for a second, squeeze your lats, and then keep going, keep squeezing them all the way up there till you finish the last rep. So you want to keep these under as much tension as possible throughout, and again, a nice and slow eccentric as well. Again, remember, time on the tension, tempo is key. Cable biceps, if you watch my uh, all my videos on arms, you know I love cable bicep curls. This time we're using the bar. Again, we're doing drop sets because it's all about progressive overload. And you know I love drop sets. I like to lean back slightly so I don't stand upright. I lean back slightly, okay? And then you come up, squeeze your biceps as hard as you can. Nice and slowly down, stop about there because you're still keeping your biceps under tension. Once you come past here, they relax. So you want to be about here. Up, squeeze, nice and slow down. <laughs> nice and slow down. And then the drop set, once you drop the weight down. So the first one is about three to four seconds. The second one is about two seconds um, drop set. With drop sets, you are aiming to go to failure if you're finding that you're not so if you do let's say 10 reps the first um, set um, and then the second drop you're still doing 10 reps when you drop the weight that means it's too easy so you want to make it slightly heavier on the second uh, set by the way some of you are probably wondering what is this this is not a, a fashion statement it's uh, a <laughs> this is a uh, called being silly, doing military presses. Uh, I was doing heavy military presses and uh, yeah, that's what this is from. So it's not injured, it's just this slight twinge every time I press overhead. So no, it wasn't from CrossFit because I know that's what a lot of you are thinking. It's, uh, it was actually from bodybuilding, ironically. <laughs> Chest supported, I actually prefer doing them uh, to bent over barbell rows, uh, especially if you don't have a very good lower back. Chest supported rows are so much better. Uh, you can do them with dumbbells as well, uh, on an incline on a bench if you don't have the T bar rows. But if you like doing barbell rows, go for it. Same thing. Um, tempo pull ups. Now, <laughs> That is going to be a lot harder than most people think because you're doing about four to five seconds on the eccentric. So aim for about five to six reps. Uh, if you can do more, awesome. But yeah, after coming off the rows, that's gonna be hard. But that's the whole point. That's the idea of it. Um, so a lot of you probably do pull-ups in the beginning when you're fresh. 
is great, but because I've done that for years and now I have to find ways to challenge my body and challenge my, uh, the muscles to grow. So I like to change things up a bit and because my lats are already, already on the fatigue from the T-bar rows. So putting it under that much tension as well, it's only going to force you to recruit a lot more muscle fibers to perform that movement, which is what you want to grow. Okay, drop set, barbell bicep curls, pretty straightforward. Uh, don't go too heavy on this, trust me, because the tempo is really, really high. So we're aiming for about a three second on the first uh, uh, set. Then the second drop, you're gonna aim for about three to four seconds, five seconds even, with just the bar. Now I know you're thinking, yeah, just the bar, that's not gonna be too hard. Yeah, trust me, if you do this right, it will hurt. So, hands in, okay, just about wider than your hips. Again, I don't fully extend when I come down. If you notice, I'm always about here to keep that tension. Up, squeeze your biceps as hard as you can. You don't have to come all the way up here. That's not necessary. Remember to keep your elbows close to your body. Okay, up, stop about there, squeeze your bicep, squeezing. Squeeze it all the way down, stop about there, up, come down. Another trick to make sure you're squeezing your biceps, squeeze the bar as hard as you can, okay? When you're holding onto the bar, squeeze it. Okay? Squeeze as hard as you can, because that creates a lot of tension. So when you're coming up, your biceps and your forearms are under a lot of tension throughout. So that's a, that's a tip, I know it sounds weird, but squeeze that bar as hard as you can because once you do that, that's already under tension because you're flexing that, your biceps automatically becomes under tension as well when you're here. But when you're here, that's relaxed. Remember that, here, it's tense, relax, tense. Okay, you want to stop about there, come up here, stop about here. Relax. If you've probably watched a lot of my old, old bodybuilding videos, you know that this was, was my staple when I used to do uh, train back. You can either use this or use the individual grips, uh, handles, uh, feet on the bench. Because the reason why I lean forward is once you lean forward, this is engaged automatically. Okay, so feet on the bench, lean forward, and then you want to pull with your lats don't pull down okay don't try and pull the handle try and pull first with your lats and let your hands come with you okay pull squeeze keep squeezing keep squeezing remember that keep squeezing your lats pull squeeze squeeze it like it owes you money remember that pull down squeeze as hard as you can and come back up. Trust me, if you do that properly, you will really feel your lats on that. Lat pull down. Again, if you saw, I like to do shrugs. So, shrug down, and pull down. Engage my lats, shrug. You don't have to do that. If you check your shoulder blades back, come down. You don't have to fully extend all the way up. You want to keep that tension on your lats. But the way I like to do it is by 
try getting down first. I come down before I go back up. Again, if you've never done those before, try and do it. Uh, you might, or not you might, you will be a lot weaker because it's harder to do, but you will absolutely feel your lats after these two exercises together. So if you're having issues uh, training your back and feeling uh, the muscle working, but if you did the activation, you should, you should feel it throughout the whole session. But if you do a lot of these movements uh, similar to how I'm showing you, it will feel completely different to what you're used to. And again, which is what you want because we all get so used to training in a certain way. Sometimes it's good to mix it up and change things and try something new, something different. So some of you might try it, you might not like it. Go back to the way you normally used to do lat pull down, that's absolutely fine. But remember, this is something I like to do. This is how I like to train. It's not, it's not a one size fits all. So you might not, you might find that you don't like this type of training. You don't like a certain way I do certain things. That's absolutely fine. It doesn't mean that, you know, I'm wrong or you're wrong. It just means that we like to train differently. Everyone does single arm dumbbell rows so differently, but I personally, I like to bring my arm slightly in front of me and then row it back. Squeeze my lats as hard as I can. Remember when I said keep squeezing your lats? Remember that? Oh, squeeze. Don't relax it when you bring it all the way back here. Okay, it just allows for a, lot, uh, a bigger range of motion. When I bring it forward, now some people like to have it to the side. I just don't like it that way. So I like to bring it slightly in front, just there. Okay, from here, and then up, squeeze. Preachers, if you've watched my video before, you would know exactly what I'm doing. If you haven't, um, again, I like to rest my armpits on the bench. Okay, make sure I'm nice and secure. And then, if you notice when I come up here, I like to twist, I call this pinky curls. Twist my pinky towards my shoulders. Okay, just get that extra contraction on your biceps. And when you come down, nice and slowly down, this is a tempo preacher curl. So about three, four seconds. Stop just about there. You can see my biceps are under tension. Uh, once you're here, it's relaxed. You don't want that. Okay, so you want to be about here. Come up, twist, slowly down. Try and keep your elbows fixed on that bench. So the only thing that should be moving is your forearms. Okay. Once you know you've gone too far, once you start doing this. Okay. So keep it here. I mean, it's fine if it comes up a little bit, that's fine. But once you start doing this, then that's not what you want. Okay. Imagine your tricep is glued to the bench. Okay. Up. Squeeze. workout done um, as always if you have any questions or forgotten anything um, yeah, leave a comment and I'll be happy to answer them uh, yeah this this one was this one was tough um, I don't know if it's because I've had a long week or 
because it's hard. I mean, all my workouts are meant to be hard. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this one. Um, again, I'm gonna say again, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, that would be awesome. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.